Sünnete başlasın lütfen. Sünnete, sünnet, hadi, hadi. Tamam. Şimdi, Brother, başlayın. please. Bismillah. Begin praying. Bismillah. Just a second. Let me see. Ama aşağıda bu yer var, herkes geçebilir orada, yer var istersen. Abi, please. Bismillah. Güney, hadi abi, hadi abi. Hadi abi, mama, hadi abi, hadi.
واحدة كما أخبر عنها النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم في حديثه الشهير عن تميم بن عوس الداري قال أن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال الدين النصيحة الدين النصيحة الدين النصيحة ثلاثا قلنا يا رسول الله لمن لمن أي لمن الدين النصيحة قال لله النصيحة أن تدل العبد على الله عز وجل قال لله ثم لكتابه ولرسوله ولأئمة المسلمين وعامتهم هذا الأحاديث هو أحد الأحاديث التي يدور عليها الحبين قال محمد بن أسلم التوصي إنه أحد إرباع الدين أي هو ربع الدين عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال حق المسلم على المسلم ست إذا لقيته فسلم عليه أي قل السلام عليكم يا أخي المسلم وإذا دعاك إلى طعام وإذا دعاك فأجبه أي عزيمته وإذا استنصحك فانصح له 
واذا عطس فحمد الله فشمته واذا مرض مرض فعده واذا مات فاتبعه رواه مسلم وعنه عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم انه قال من نفس عن مؤمن كربة من كرب الدنيا نفس الله عنه كربة من كرب الآخرة قام علي فخطب على المنبر يخطب فسمعته يقول لا والله ما عندنا كتاب نقرأه إلا كتاب الله وعن أبي موسى الأشعري رضي الله تعالى عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم المؤمن للمؤمن كالبنيان يشد بعضه بعضا متفق عليه وعن النعمان بن بشير رضي الله عنه عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال مثل المؤمنين في توادهم وترى عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم انه قال واعود فاقول الدين النصيحه الدين النصيحه ايها الاخوان ايها الاعزاء ايها المؤمنين الدين النصيحه فانصحوا اخواتكم وانصحوا انفسكم لعلكم ترحمون اقول قولي هذا واستغفر الله العظيم لي ولكم ولسائر المستغفرين فيا فوزا للمستغفرين استغفر الله الحمد لله حمد الكاملين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين يا أيها الذين آمنوا إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد الناهي أمته عن دار الجحيم مفخر العرب والعجم مولانا ومولى العالمين المحترمين سيدنا أبي القاسم محمد يا أيها المشتاقون نور جماله والمحتاجون شفاعته صلوا عليه صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما صليت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد وبارك اللهم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما باركت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد اللهم اغفر للمؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم والأموات ولأخواننا ولإخواننا الذين سبقونا بالإيمان ولا تجعل في قلوبنا غلا للذين آمنوا ربنا إنك رؤوف رحيم يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم انصر الإسلام والمسلمين وأعز كلمة هذا الدين وأذل الشرك والكافرين إنك على كل شيء قدير وبالإجابة جدير واشفنا واشف مرضانا خاصة سيد الشيخ محمد ناصر الحقاني وعلى مرضانا يا رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين سبحان ربك رب العزة عما غير المغضوب عليهم ولا قال خذها ولا تخف سنعيدها سيرتها الاولى الله اكبر الله اكبر سمع الله لمن حمد الله اكبر الله اكبر الله اكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم 
الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين يقول يا ليتني قدمت لحق
Allah aşağıya şerif ender abi geçsin. Fatiha <gülüyor> Allah. Every movement, everything in this universe is moving. Nothing is still. Everything must move. This universe is moving. The stars are moving. Galaxies are moving to a to a, in a vacuum that no one knows where they are going in a speed of 300 kilometers per second. This universe, this galaxy that you are in, and the other galaxies are moving. You cannot feel them, but like in a plane. You are in the plane, but the plane is moving, like 1,000 kilometers per hour. Universe is moving 300,000 kilometers per second, the speed of light. And the light that comes from the sun to reach the earth, or from the moon to, from the moon to reach the earth, in one second. That light from the moon comes on earth. Sun is farther down. But all that, that whole galaxy is moving like that. Grand Sheikh, may Allah bless his soul. Amen. He said, and this for, for everyone, for me and for everyone, he said that if a wali moved his finger, he moves it with a, with a wisdom. He's not moving it for scratching his head. If he scratches his head even, from that movement, there must be a wisdom. And he mentioned the story of Sayyidina Abdul Khaliq al Rujduwani. <coughs> One time he was sitting with his followers and it was very cold time and they are eating together in on the floor as sunnah uh, to sit on the floor and the food is raised little bit above the ground and they were so he threw it and they were looking at him he said after four hours you will know why I did that. The nearest village to Sayyidina Abdul Khalid Rojduwani, which is, he lives in Maru, which is uh, on the hill mountain, very cold. He used to do his zikr in his well. The well that he did, till today it is still existing. When he used to do his awrat, he goes in the well under the water, Make zikr, and then he has to breathe. He goes up, breathe, and go down. And make zikr, and go up, and go down. How we are doing our zikr today? <laughs> Watching videos, <laughs> television. It's uh, nonsense today. What? <coughs> Imitation. It's so good. It's okay. It's still good. They ask him why. He said, because shaitan cannot approach water. If shaitan approach water, he will be extinguished. Because it's from fi fire. So that's why I use underwater, there is no shaitan. I do my zikr. When I, I want to breathe quickly, I go up. I stop, I breathe, I go down and back another time for zikr. He said after, we go back to the story. He said after four hours, you will know why I was throwing the apples. Four hours exactly, the other village is, you know, at that time there was no cars or anything. It was either walking, they count the time by walking, or on a, 
a horse or on a donkey or on a mule. They know the speed. And it was four hours walking that village. And the man came and they said, he said, Ya Sayyidi. Means anyone will be called for judgment, he will be punished for sure. Allah will bring for him hundreds of things that he will be punished for. Not one thing. Because there are many hidden things that we do, we don't know that it is wrong. Might be we do it, but it is wrong, for example. And we do many things which is wrong and we know it's wrong. So that's why he said, Prophet said to say, Aisha, be careful. Man husib azdim, anyone who will be judged will be punished. Adinu nasiha. No nasiha, no religion. Awliya Allah, what they do? They do nasiha for their followers. They follow the foot, uh, footsteps of Prophet. So we go back to Sayyidina Abdul Khalik. He said, when Azrael was coming, I saw he's coming with punishment. So I took one apple, I throw it up, means go back. Don't take my murid's soul with punishment. Go back, bring Rahman and come. I throw the second one, that is the sign of Rahman that is coming, the second one. And my murid went into with Rahmatullah. By Shafa'a of Prophet Adana wa Atana. He doesn't cry for nothing. For nonsense. Grand Sheikh, when he was uh, sometime you can see the similarity between both of them. He used to cry a lot. Tears comes. That tears means mercy is coming from his feeling. When you feel when you feel something nice, you cry. When you feel something not nice, you cry. They cry when they see not something not nice to change it to nice, and then they cry because they are happy because it's been changed. And. This kind of Sheikh Allah has granted us, honored us to be with him, inshallah, dunya and akhirah. So every movement he does, take from it an, an example, take from it something benefit, beneficial to benefit you. As we said, this, these galaxies, all of them, 6,000 galaxies they found, they are moving. Every cell of your body is moving. Fa'atul Nabi is by Shafa'atul Awliya to go to paradise. Why we are coming here? For what reason? For sh showing love, and that love is what's going to save us in Akhirah. Show love to Mawlana Sheikh means show love to each other. Don't criticize each other. You criticize each other means there is no love to the sheikh because every one of the murid is like a jewel on the turban of the sheikh. One missing, the turban doesn't look nice. He said, وَلَا تَبَغَدُوا وَلَا تَجَسَّسُوا وَلَا تَحَسَّسُوا وَكُونُوا عِبَادَ اللَّهِ إِخْوَانًا The hadith I mentioned. Don't spy, don't speak on each other, don't have bad doubts. <coughs> don't make namima, don't make ghibah. <coughs> but be brothers and sisters for Allah's sake, for Prophet's sake, for Mawlana's sake. Wa amin Allahi tawfiq bi hurmat al Fatiha. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allah.